Wait, what are you saying happened? Look, do I need to come over there? Do you need to come stay with me? Well, look, you gotta just call me back then, all right? Call me back, bye. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. What is going on? I can't believe it. Okay, so my friend Kevin, now he's been told me how his boyfriend shouts at him and calls him every name under the sun, and now he's telling me he just got pushed into the wall last night. Whoa, 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 we're talking verbal and physical abuse. How did it get to that point? I don't even know. I mean, at the beginning of their relationship, Kevin's partner was so considerate and was always doing nice things for him and wanting to meet his family and friends and, and really just be a central part of his life. Yeah, but sometimes it's those same strategies that are used to divide us from those who we love and our routine. Do you think that's what happened here? I mean, I kind of do because slowly but surely, Kevin's partner started preventing him from hanging out with us and had him on a really tight schedule. Mm. But honestly, Ree, I mean, I think for Kevin, this was like the first time he felt somebody actually cared about him. It sounds like some sort of history of abuse or neglect. You know, a lot of studies say that for youth who are sexually or physically abused, they go on to perpetrate or experience those same types of abuses in their relationships. Well, I mean, thankfully, Kevin wasn't abused as a child, but he definitely had a rough childhood. I mean, he was often at home by himself because his mom was just trying to make ends meet. Sure. I mean, but even if that wasn't the case, I feel like intimate partner violence happens more often than we might think. Up to 30% of couples report IPV at some point in their relationship. Man, I'm thinking about my work with families and with Kevin. I would just want him to feel whole, to feel like he's enough, right? So often we go outside of ourselves for that completion, but we really need to focus on ourselves and our family unit to really appreciate those relationships with other people. Now, that's not to say that Kevin's partner's actions are excusable at all. That's on him. That's right. But you are right. I feel like Kevin wasn't even given the opportunity to really see how toxic this relationship was because he's been carrying past her. Yeah, just make sure Kevin knows that there are treatments for IPV and abuse, like cognitive behavioral therapy or psychoeducation or advocacy interventions or even safety planning. Okay, yeah, I mean, I can also let him know that he can repair his esteem by practicing in self-esteem workbooks or by reading or writing affirmation cards or by really rebuilding his sense of self and safety with a therapist. I mean, even if he were to just look in the mirror and say, I am enough, I mean, maybe that would be a good start. You know, speaking of mirrors, I take my Sharpie, I write out affirmations so that I can reflect and see the things that I want to be every day. Wow, I mean, that's dope. I might have to steal that one. You can. I'm Ree. And I'm CT. And, and this, this is a cast on your arm. Oh, and, and this, this is, is our Mental, mental Health Minute. Minute. Love is blind, and it'll take over your mind. What you think is love is truly not. You need to elevate.